All right, we've got this cute little Stitch character, and he's looking all sad and forlorn. So we're gonna start with his head, and that's the biggest part of his body width-wise. And then the body itself, um, notice how I draw this rectangle with like a curve at the top. That goes into the head space. And then you look at the feet, and they're, they're not very big at all. They're just the bottom section. And so once you get those proportions correct, you can go start doing the details like you see me here, I've got the shape of the area where the mouth will be, and then where that neckline comes down. And make sure your shoulders come in. Um, what I do is I gauge where does it start and stop. So where does the shoulder start compared to the head? And don't start them too far out. They're in towards the head. They're not, they're not extending outside the width of the head. And then same with the eyes. They're not perfectly symmetrical. So uh, you notice I get those big organic like, circle and half circle shapes to the side. And the right one's a little bit um, smaller than the left. It's kind of like a teardrop, or I would almost think a, a pear shape. And then really that's just all the dimensions. That's what you're gonna do is look at the width. How much room do I have from the top of the eye to the top of that pear shape? And what's my distance for the nose area? And if that's correct. And then get as close as you can this is just a practice for a sketch to get your proportions and, and practice drawing quicker. Um, I'm looking at the ears and how far down does the ear go and then I look at the negative space between the ear and the body and that really helps me get that proportion accurate. And then where am I going to start my next ear compared to the eye or the mouth on the right hand side. So those are the things that you want to think about. And I'm not adding a lot of details with um, value or shading, but I always like to shade, not always, but probably 90% of the time, shade those eyes in just so it doesn't look freaky. And then um, I'm gonna work on the arms, and the arms, we're looking at angles, where do the hands stop compared to the belly line. Um, and then I like these hands, they're not too hard to draw. There's just three little digits, and notice how I had to adjust that. I didn't leave enough space between the belly and the arm, so. I made that adjustment and then I look at the shape in between the legs, that negative space and we're working on getting that correct. The idea that we've got these little toes and digits and then I change the shape because that little bum was looking a little fat there. You get the digits of the hands correct. Sometimes I'll start with the curve of the hand and then get the digits in there. These little claws are kind of fun to draw. And then go back through and just strengthen any lines, darken up areas that you need to, and then you're done. <laughs>